Hello everyone, in today's video I'm going to teach you how I am painting this dog with watercolours. If you want to see how I drew the outline, I've dedicated a separate tutorial on my method which is linked below. This dog is mostly black so I'm starting with greys to map out where the fur is darkest. If the dog you are painting has a lot of colour, just use the same method but using a very light watered down version of that colour. I like to paint in layers when using watercolours. Lots of thin layers of paint that can be built up to create depth and definition. As you can see, I'm gradually adding more paint to the layers when more darkness is needed. It is good to wait until your layer of paint has dried before adding a new layer, as this prevents the paper from crinkling and the paint from bleeding. When painting fur, it is important to paint in strokes that portray the fur throughout all your layers, as it eventually builds up and looks more realistic and full bodied. I find that once you paint in the eyes, the whole thing immediately comes to life. Here you can see I'm just finishing off my darkest top layer, adding extra depth where needed, so in this case I was shaping the face. That pop of eye colour and light in the eyes really adds character and realism. Don't worry if you accidentally paint over the highlight, I'll show you how to fix that shortly. When painting with just black, it can look very flat and lifeless, so add a little blue or brown to add depth and bring it to life. To finish this painting off, I'm using a white gel pen to add back in the highlight and detail I've missed before or painted over. I prefer using a gel pen as it can be smudged and blended when necessary. It can also be easily removed with some water. I think this extra effort in detail and highlight finishes the painting and gives it a much better sense of realism. Thank you all for watching, leave a comment below telling me how you paint with watercolours. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you next time.